Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're doing well, and welcome back to another video. So let's start with Mercedes, where it's been revealed that Team Boss Toto Wolf is set to lead the team for another three years after signing a new contract which excludes any performance clauses. Wolf led the team through its dominant period, which saw the team win every constructors title between 2014 and 2021. But the team haven't won any titles for the last two years, with the new ground effect regulations catching the team out from 2022 but his future at the team won't be affected by performance given there's no performance clause. With Wolf, Ineos owner Jim Ratcliffe and Mercedes-Benz CEO Ola Kalnius agreeing that keeping the management stable is key for the F1 team to get back to the front. Wolf told the Daily Telegraph, I'm not going to try to hang on to a position that I think somebody is going to do better than me and make sure that I have people around who can tell me otherwise. In the end, the three of us decided, let's do it again. I've never had a performance course, you either trust each other or you don't, and we're aligned as shareholders. Now I think a consistent structure is key, like look at Rebel and Christian Horner. Yes, there were several years where Rebel didn't achieve much under Horner's leadership, but when you look at the bigger picture, they've won seven titles under his leadership, and they're currently the most dominant team on the grid. And given Wolf managed Mercedes during their dominant spell, for me, it would make sense for him to stay in charge as the team looks to get back to the front and Mercedes are making big changes to its 2024 car to try and turn things around. Like in 2023, they started the season with a similar concept to that of 2022, but quickly realised that it wasn't the way to go. But I don't think that will happen again in 2024, with the concept set to be different, and things like the weight distribution and airflow changing. And Wolf has suggested that the early signs are promising for the 2024 W15, with him saying that the car seems to be performing well in the simulator, Speaking of his discussions with Mercedes simulator driver Anthony Davidson, Wolf said he was driving Melbourne in the sim. And he said, The car feels like a car for the first time in two years. Obviously I would love this to correlate to the track, but we've seen in the last two years that this was not always the case. So it's clear the team are still staying cautious following a difficult two years. But the fact that the W15 in Davidson's hands is going well is really good news for the team. And while warnings have been issued about Red Bull's potential pace for 2024, it seems like Mercedes are starting to turn things around as they look to try and close the gap to Red Bull. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, take care. Bye.